Dragon's Dogma 2 and Horizon Forbidden West are two of the biggest game releases coming out later this month, March 2024. I thought it'd be a fun idea to put together a PC with the minimum required specs for each game and see just how well they can play on what the publishers are telling us the minimum specs are. So I'm excited to put together this PC. You can see I got all the parts assembled here. It's just a matter of putting them all together. So let's take a look at what we got, shall we? So these are the official Steam minimum requirements, and the big things here, you can see the processor, either an Intel Core i5-10600 or an AMD Ryzen 5 3600, memory 16 gigs, and for the graphics card, either a GTX 1070 or a Radeon RX 5500 XT. And this should get us 1080p 30fps. They are capping the game at 30fps. Why? I don't know. But these specs should get us that. Moving on to Horizon Forbidden West, slightly less powerful specs required. You can see the Intel Core i3-8100 or AMD Ryzen 3 1300X. GPU, a GTX 1654 gig or AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT. But look at that storage, 150 gigs. So you need a ton of storage for this game. And these specs came out after I had already purchased everything that you see here. There were speculations of what the specs would be. I saw GTX 1070, so I kind of based my build on that, but here's what we actually went with for this build. So for the CPU, we went with the Ryzen 5 3600. I tried to find an Intel 10600, but they're really hard to find, and there were ones I did find were really expensive, so the Ryzen was the right choice here, price-wise. GPU, I did wind up going with the GTX 1070. I got this three-fan Strix one off Facebook Marketplace for $90. Pretty good deal, I thought. So it is obviously used, but this is the minimum recommended GPU for Dragon's Dogma 2, and I'm sure it'll be just fine with Horizon Forbidden West as well. For everything else, I got an AM4 motherboard to support our AMD CPU, the B550 Phantom with Wi-Fi. I wanted to give this PC a bit of room for an upgrade path, and this board should help out with that. Same with the power supply, I went with a 600 watt, which is a bit overkill for these specs, but gives room for some upgrades. RAM, we got Oloy Warhawk, 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz of RGB RAM. Had to go with RGB here to match our RGB GPU. 512 gigs of Gen 4 M.2 SSD, since our motherboard supports it. And for the case, we went with the Fractal Design. Focus G, which was on sale on Newegg. I did get an exhaust fan as well, since this case only came with two front fans. All in, this was the cost of everything, coming in just under $500. So now it's build time. Let's put it all together. So now the moment of truth, let's see if she boots up. She lights up. 
Looking pretty good, though you will notice some of the RGB on the GPU is only lighting up on the first kind of right hand side of it. So I decided to do something about that. So what I did, I went on Amazon and I got some glow fiber. And as you can see, as I'm taking the case of the GPU off here, you can see the old glow fiber. I read that some of it, you know, on these older GPUs, if they've been used for a long time, that glow fiber can kind of wear off. And just replacing it with some new stuff should take care of the issue. So I bought a coil of it off of Amazon and cut it up to the proper length and started to install it. Same way that the glow fiber that I'm taking out was installed and didn't take too long, wasn't too much of a hassle. And we're gonna see here in a minute if that's what solves the issue. So as you can see this time around, we got some RGB everywhere. So unfortunately, I'm not able to provide any gameplay or benchmarks of these games quite yet because, well, I made this video before those games are even out yet. The Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator is available now, however, so that's what I'm doing here. And look at those FPS numbers. Woo! But we got the PC ready, so when the games do come out, stick around. I'm going to do some live streams. I'm going to benchmark these on a live stream. So make sure you like and subscribe so you can get reminded of when I'm doing those live streams. And we are going to play these games on this PC and see just how well they do. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you then.